welcome back to this uh, second part of this uh, lesson. Um, also, um, I mentioned, I did mention earlier uh, about the three things that you need to know to be able to sight read effectively. The first thing is your familiarity with the staff, because as I said, the pitch is uh, represented on the staff, and then the second thing is about understanding the musical notations, the notes the uh, different types of notes and the rest of course so we do have the notes and equivalent rest it, it means sound and equivalent silence so four beats two beats three um one beats um half beats you know um yeah so we'll make a series on the notation on the notes so that we'll be able to also deal with dotted notes so that you'll be able to understand uh, these uh, three, these different kinds of notes that we do have, uh, both uh, the notes that are not dotted and those that are dotted. And what does dotted note? What does it mean? So those are the issues uh, that we are going to be uh, addressing uh, on, in that video. But for now, uh, the last thing that you need to know is the timing. Uh, we did mention in the previous video uh, about the metronome, which can uh, help you to be able to make the beat audible. So making the beat audible, it does, you know, you will be able to have control over the tempo, be able to have control over the type of time signature that um, the, the beat uh, is, so that your music is. So then you'll be able to have uh, very good um, uh, control over that. So what we normally recommend for people is that you start slowly, start slowly. So like, you know, uh, for, the for the benefit of people that are not familiar with how, me how tempo is measured. Tempo is measured in beats per minute, BPM. As you can see it on the screen. Tempo is measured in beats per minute, beats per minute, BPM. So, um, so for tempo that is measured, uh, like if you start with something like 40 to 50 BPM, that's not too bad. You start with a you know, um, slow tempo so that, because what is important here is not the speed, but the accuracy. So you want to do it as accurately as possible. You want to do it as accurately as you can so that your accuracy should be in that neighborhood of 90 to 100% accuracy. Then you can now start focusing on the speed thereafter and begin to build up the speed and become faster and do it much faster, much faster, much faster. But you know, you can imagine someone that is a child that just does not know how to walk, that wants to run, <laughs> you know what will happen. The child will still keep, to, to keep stumbling and stumbling and stumbling and probably at the point will probably get discouraged and just decide to stay on one, on one spot and maybe continue to crawl for the rest of his life because he's you're just not doing the right thing. It's not doing the right thing. So the first thing is you need to be familiar with the notes, the rest, be familiar with the staff and the, the, the pitch, the staff. And then also be familiar with the timing. Uh, I've, yeah, also, you know, in relation to the pitch, uh, I want to mention at this juncture also that uh, the cycle, cycle of fifth, and cycle of fourth, uh, which we are going to be talking about at a much later date, is something that we also help you to be able to read. Because right now, what this video has addressed is that you are able to read in the key of C. But you know, we have other kind of keys like F, C, G, E, A, uh, B, B flat, A flat, E flat, you know, all these other keys. Being familiar with cycle of fifth and cycle of fourth will give you an idea of how many accidentals are there that you need to be familiar with. How many sharps and flats? When are you supposed to sharpen your 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 natural notes? When are you supposed to use black keys? You know all these kind of things. So that's gonna be able to you know come into play and be able to help you out. But for now, we focus on the key of C. We focus on the key of C. So once you're familiar with the staff, you're familiar with the notes and the rest, and then you are familiar with the timing, then you should be able to read. And now, I just want to talk a little bit uh, on the timing issue. 
Uh, we did mention a little bit on that. I want to dwell a little bit on timing. So, um, music comes in different types of timing. Um, we do have um, timing that's uh, simple timing, uh, like uh, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4. And also, we do have the compound timing of 6, 4, 6, 8, uh, 9, 8, 12, 8, you know, 12, 4, like that. So, the, the, yeah, this is not the video that's going to be explaining uh, timing in details. But this is just to let you know that there are different types of timing. But the one that is most common timing in the, in the world music, you know, is the 4-4. Four, four. And so it's represented as 4-4 four, four or C. As you can see on the screen, it's represented as 4-4 four, four or as C. So with that, it shows that there are four beats in a bar. Uh, by the way, a bar is a unit of subdivision of beats. So like you can, uh, you can uh, imagine it as a group of beats, you know, that are put in a box. <laughs> so each box is a bar. So we have the same number of beats in each box, you know, it's a bar. Or you have a room. So a room, you have the same amount of content in that room. The contents of the room are the beat. The wall of the room is the bar line. And then the room itself is the bar. So that's the kind of to make some kind of analogy uh, between what we know, what you are familiar with, and the bar. So, um, yeah, the bar is a very good concept that you need to be familiar with because if you are going to go into music production, and uh, you're going to be, uh, become a producer or something, you need to be familiar with the bar. Because, you know, the common songs and the, uh, and the popular songs, they, are, they have uh, a structure that they follow. And, you know, and they have like a kind of a structure, four bars, eight bars, you know, we have phrases, we have um, um, uh, sentences, phrases, melodic structure and all that. This is not the place where we're going to be dealing with that. But it's just that, you know, understanding this fundamental as of music will give you a leverage you know because you give you like a leverage upon which to build your skills um yeah for you to be better at sight reading as i said before number one thing is practice number two is be get familiar become more familiar with this different concept of timing of you know i mentioned the cycle of fifth of the staff uh, what are the notes on the staff? What are the notes on the ledger line? You know, you can find uh, the video description in the link, and also um, about the notes. Uh, the, the 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 you see the uh, video on the notes. You know, so once you are familiar with all these things, just put them in the context of timing. So everything is one, you know, it's going to be uh, counting, going to be counting uh, the timing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm using um, the uh, common time as an example. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, depending on the tempo. So based on that, you'll be able to read the melody comfortably. You'll be able to read the melody comfortably. And then you can, of course, you know, cascade that to the level of the harmonic structure of the song. And then gradually, might be able to read some of your uh, do your own thing um yeah as a reference there are a lot of uh, free and uh, open source softwares that you can use for um uh, to write your own score if you are interested in that uh, muse score is one of them and um if you want uh, just post a comment we might be able to give you a uh, list of some of the musical notation softwares that are out there that you can use um yeah but apart from that uh, we might be able to also give you a list of some of the games that you might be able to play uh, that can help you out with um, being better at, at sight reading. Please uh, do like and uh, subscribe to our channel. We appreciate uh, your comments. Uh, please press the subscribe button and uh, leave us your comment. And uh, please, if you like this video, please give us a thumb, thumbs up. Thank you and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.